Hey there, you cool cats and kittens. It's Johnny Adam, the voice of Essex, here to ring your ears once more. A festival of light and sound deserves something a bit more than my usual fare of updates, so I've asked a few of my friends here to share some of the latest news from their settlements. So remember the words of the kings. Listen about the things that happen throughout the world. Don't believe in everything you see or hear. Don't believe it all. Find out for yourself the news of the world. And, you know, I couldn't even said it better than myself. So let's hear from the News of the Wastes right now. Thanks, Johnny. This is your mixed master of the mix, Coltrane Extra Miles with Dead Air Radio, calling in from the idyllic, scorched, and sandblasted Sequoia Waste to give you the scoop on our neck of the end of the world. For the first time in a while, I'm sending out the News of the Wastes outside of a bunker. That's right, folks. Freedom rings and it sounds like the death bells of Felvic as the denizens of the dunes rose up to topple a tyrant and end a four-year war. Efforts to rebuild and reconcile after the conflicts are underway, but Voidic Vergans and the Waste as a whole are now a much safer place to travel with the hosts scattered and in disarray. Yeah, everything's coming up roses now that that prick is pushing up daisies and we're all breathing a little bit easier here in the Voidic Vergans and beyond. So, it's off with our blues, off with the news, and on to the deuce. Back to you, Johnny. Say, Johnny, thanks to you, the powers that be let me out of that box for a limited time. So, without further ado, this is Bobby Dimes with the Wasteland Times, bringing you the news from my neck of the wastes. A menacing, mossy mystery leaves Lee's leading Havenites to Leeds, a town isolated in the Pine Barrens. Investigators follow the gruesome, glowing growths to a manor full of creepy cryptids, who didn't much like townsfolk poking around their mama's house. But fear not, Haven solved this problem with one simple trick, a lot of violence. The town seemed to have snuffed out most of the ghostly ghouls, leaving just one, known as the 13th Son, or the Leeds Devil. Roma says he's still out there. They're flying around and breathing fire. Sounds like everyone had some fun at that flim flam flop house and even found a fancy flapper. In other news, a serial killer has sprung up, leaving a local sweetheart heartless and turning a certain someone's two smiles upside down. This proved to be a fatal mistake as Haven proceeded to make this killer serial soggy. The SIA, a new organization of super sleuths, partnered up with the town to put this hot jacking jackass in the ground and continued to look into groups of goons bugging the town. This SIA could give me a run for my money, or be a whole slew of new pals. But that's just this ten cents is two cents of the whole nonsense. Anyway, that's all the time I got for now. This has been Bobby Dobbins with the Wasteland Times, and I got a box to get back into. Back to you, Johnny! Hey, thanks, Johnny. Dana Mangles out here in Crystal Creek, which is news of the waste. Belts are being cinched even tighter as food continues to be scarce out in this corner. And radiation levels are still on the rise, so that's fucking mint. But we all have the marriage of the heirs to look forward to. McAdams and Dillard's, cause pure blood weddings are bound to be fun. And last word is that the war party is headed out in your direction, so I uh, have fun with that, Johnny. Uh back to you. As I say something funny. Funny how? Am I a clown? Do I amuse you? Fuck out of here. Thanks, Johnny. You're now listening to GC from Broken Coast Radio in the Baja Tents, your favorite and only radio DJ from El Dorado. The Hellions have been going buck wild for Crystal Tech weaponry since the spire exploded. All these crystals are being found all over the area out here. Apparently, each of the five colors does some weird, unique, wiggity wiggity shit when added to crafting things. Our newest friends at the Bernardino Township have even been seen adding their crystals to their food for unique flavors and effects. Honestly, I wish they just used more salt and pepper and a splash of hot sauce. Important news in the ways. Hellions have no home. That's right, folks. El Dorado is currently underwater. The Hellions have been traveling to local areas and doing what they do best in all these other settlements, causing chaos and anarchy and making friends and enemies. The airship captains of the Broken Coast Armada have even spotted a giant radioactive butterfly making its home where El Dorado used to be. So, you know, business as usual out here, fucking around and finding out the hard way. And last but not least, grave divers in the region have encountered an unusual entity inside the local grave mine. The entity has been calling themselves Legion, and they're apparently a collection of consciousness and imprints, blah blah blah, grave mind woogity woogity shit. Honestly, just ask a grave robber, not me. If you plan to talk to it, bring it some spire crystals because it likes snackies because it's hungry or something. And that's what's been going on in our neck of the waste. Remember, Aurelia was right. Back to you, Johnny. Oh man, that was crazy keen, my kings and queens. The signal brings us closer every day, daddios. I hope you enjoyed hearing from some of my friends from around the wastes. But remember, the gospel truth. Don't take it too serious. Not many do. Listen between the lines and you'll find the truth. So that's it for this segment of the News of the Wastes. But I've got a local artist here to give us their rendition of the Kings and the Jam. They're the ones that give us those wonderful lyrics you heard earlier. So give them a hand and remember to buy some merch.